Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to the video. In this video, I want to go over how to create YouTube thumbnails in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, here is basically the example. I'm going to go ahead and pretty much recreate um, this thumbnail right here. Now, as you can see, you can literally create almost like a Photoshop quality thumbnail in Final Cut, which if you didn't know, Final Cut is primarily a video editing um, program. It's not supposed to be for editing photos. But I found tons of different tricks and hacks that you can actually you know, do to actually edit photos uh, in Final Cut. So that, I mean, that looks pretty much like a Photoshop um, thumbnail. I'm gonna go over and break down how I actually go about um, creating that really cool thumbnail. The first thing I would encourage you to do is head over here to the workspace right here, and then as you can see right here, I would bring this all the way down here, so you can see it makes the timeline a lot smaller. That's what I would um, encourage you to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of you know go through this pretty quickly. Hopefully you know every, everything you know makes sense. If you have any questions, you know let me know in the comments down below. So the first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just import this background layer. Um, right here and now I'm just gonna basically just adjust the position you know to where I want it now for example I'm gonna go ahead and change this to five degrees I'm gonna basically bring it up right here and then I'll zoom in right there and that looks pretty good right there that's just you know what I want to do um, right here next thing I'll do is head over to the effects panel right here go to all and then type in tint right here so add a tint effect I was gonna go ahead and apply the tint effect onto the background layer um, right there now this is basically where you change the color so I select it over here I want to go over here and let's change it to like a reddish color um, right there and there you go with the tint effect you can kind of just tint it and change the background um, a different color right there the next I'm gonna do is go over here head over to the adjustment layer select an adjustment layer right here now obviously I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and put the link um, down in the description below but I'm just gonna add an adjustment layer you don't I don't really think you have to add one but I'm just gonna do just for the sake just to make it a little bit easier so let's head over here and go to blur I'm gonna go ahead and take a Gaussian blur, a Gaussian blur apply it onto the adjustment layer um, right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and all you can do is just change um, right here the amount to whatever you want so I'm gonna change it to 17 um, right here so you can see the, the background is a little bit blurred right here so let's go ahead and rename this um, let's just type in this call this blur um, effect right here and then I'll just rename this one right here um, background right there so there you go that way that way it makes um, a lot of sense now I'm gonna head over here add a custom generator the only reason I want to add a custom generator is because I kind of want to darken the background um, just a little bit and you kind of see why a little bit obviously you know these are this is this is basically just what I do you can go ahead and adjust it to whatever you want so let's go over here and we'll just call this um, black um, background or let's just call this like black overlay um, right here then I'm gonna go ahead and change the opacity to let's say about 50% right here and as, and as you can see all that does the base just darkens the image as you can see right here it just darkens the image so the image is blurred and kind of darkened out so it kind of creates a depth between the subject um, and the background now this one I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and select on my subject right here obviously this can be you know whatever you want for this example I'm just gonna do um, uh, Tom Brady right here next thing you want to do is head over to the effects panel right here go to um, Mask so if you're wondering how do I cut out a subject the effect is called the draw mask right here So we take a draw mask right here And then obviously you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and you know make a, a really really bad selection um, Right here. I'll try to make it decent so you can kind of see the effects, but as you can see right there There we go really horrible 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 job uh, masking right there but obviously you know if this is you know a a really um, you know editing for a client or something serious obviously you know put a lot more time um, into the mask um, right there but there you go so that's basically how you cut out the subject you now I would encourage you to probably feather it usually I say negative two negative three let's go negative three obviously it's not really gonna work as the cutout isn't good but that's what I would encourage you to feather it out to um, right here I'm gonna go ahead and change this to like 10 frames right here the only reason I'm doing that right there is just so rendering takes a lot less time so I don't want to take it uh, too much of your time so I'm gonna go right here I would change the feather negative three I would also change the shape type right here to B spline right here now what B spline is gonna do if you watch right there 
all it's gonna do is basically smooth out um, the edges right there so you can see it also you know creates a couple other problems and I'll go ahead and fix that in a second but what B-Spun does it helps really smooth out the edges obviously it looks really bad because um, uh, the cutout the cutout of Tom Brady was not that great so let's go ahead and just increase the, the scale a little bit right here just to cover that up right here because you know obviously it's you know really really shoddy uh, kind of like mass right there um, but you know I, I, I should kind of you know, get the idea across and let's say okay I have another part of Tom Brady um, that I want to cut out right here now obviously you want to be careful how many masks you add because the more masks you add the slower your computer uh, the slower the program will start to run now let's go ahead and invert the mask um, right there and voila as you can see right here Tom Brady is completely cut out now let's go ahead take the position drag the x-axis and there we go you just want Tom Brady um, right over there and voila you have a really cool cutout effect right there now I'm going to go over and add some really cool effects too I'm going to go ahead and take this right here hold down option and I'm just going to create another copy right here or create a copy um, right there now what I'm going to do is head over here I'm going to go to the color board um, right here I'm going to go ahead or add a color board right here take exposure drag the master to 100 highlights to 100 and then I would encourage you to take the saturation and turn the saturation all the way down the only reason I would encourage you to do that is sometimes you can have like a weird tint effect so I would encourage you to just completely well, I guess the, I, I, I mean uh, negative I think it's negative 100 there we go so negative 100 you want to bring the saturation all the way down um, right there because sometimes it creates like a weird kind of yellowish um, tint so let's change the uh, fall off to negative 100 all that does it just helps really smooth out the edges or smooth out the lines I don't know how much of a, you know, a huge difference how much of a noticeable difference um, it'll make right there but as you can see right here there we go now I'm going to change the feather right here to 15 and there you go obviously that looks really looks really weird but you know just for the sake of the video now we're going to change this one because it's because the mask is inverted to negative 15 right there and voila you have this really cool um outline effect so yeah obviously again the mask you know, isn't that great but if you know you put a lot more time and effort into the mask it's definitely going to look um, a lot nicer I'm, I'm very serious on changing to b spun you always want to change to b spun or else the mask is just, it's just going to look a little bit uh, weird so let's go ahead and take the cutout and we're just going to create another copy right here now on this copy right here what i'm going to do is head over here add a color board right here so add a color board right here take the exposure drag the master all the way up to 100 percent take the saturation drag it all the way up to 100 percent and then the color right here change the color to whatever you want let's change it to um yellow right here so I'll wait for it to render and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and just drag this underneath right here and then all i'm going to do right here is i'm just going to create a compound clip um right here so we're going to click option g and we'll type we'll type in glow effect right here so we'll type in a glow effect right there don't have to create a compound clip but I would probably encourage you to do that so let's head over here and then go to blur add a focus blur and then add it to the glow effect right there and then there's you can see right here there is the glow effect right here and then here are just the numbers I would encourage you amount 70 and then softest to 900 percent as you can see right here you have a really cool glow effect so we'll type in this one right here uh, we'll just call this um, white outline right here so I'll call this white outline uh, effect right here just so things don't uh, things don't get confusing so let's head over here we'll just call this um, cutout right here so there we go so you have the cutout you have the white outline which is this white effect and then the glow effect um, right there next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and click on Control T to create uh, a text layer. So you can see right there, it's basically a keyboard shortcut, just like a, kind of a, a hot key kind of, or like you said, just immediately um, opens it up right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and then you can head over to this icon right here. And then we'll go ahead, uh, put the caps lock on and we'll call this, we'll name this layer Tom Brady, or just, we'll, we'll just lay, uh, name it Tom. And then I would en encourage you to change the font to Futura, I would change it to condensed right here, and let's change this to I don't know like 170 maybe, or maybe even you know more insane. So let's call this 170 right here, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a couple effects onto it. Let's go to the face right here. Click on the face. Let's say we want this text to be yellow. And then what I would encourage you to do is I would uh, encourage you to add kind of a glow and a drop shadow. All that's going to do is just create depth uh, on the text. I would change the glow to kind of a black glow right there, or you can you know, change it whatever you want. But I would highly encourage you to add a drop shadow right there. All that's going to do is you see where you just add a, add a drop shadow to the text. It's just going to create um, a little more depth to the text. So let's take the x axis right here. Let's take it right here. Move the text right here. And now you can go ahead and create as many copies um, as you want. So let's hold down Option. Uh, hold down option right here So you can go ahead and so as you can see right here. There's a little bit of like a shadow a, sh uh, a shadow on the text right here and we'll just name this um, I'll just name this Brady right here. So obviously you know you can name it uh, Whatever you want, but you know, just for the sake of this video let's call it Tom Brady move it down right there And then voila as you can see right there You have a really cool kind of text effect and you can you know, adjust it and customize it until you get the look that you want Remember to always add a drop shadow. Um, it's just going to look And it's just gonna look um, a lot nicer now the next one I'll go over is how to actually go about exporting um, this image right here. So what you want to do is head over right here, go to the export icon right here, and click on Save Current Frame. Now if you don't see that, I would go, I would click on Add Destination right here, and then like drag this, drag this right into this, you know, destination section right here, just in case you know you don't see that. But it should pop up. But just in case it doesn't, go ahead and you, you have to add a new destination. Click on Save Current Frame right here. We'll just call this thumbnail. Um, we'll just call this, uh, actually we'll, we'll call this, um, right here, obviously you can, uh, name it whatever you want, so we'll just call this Tom Brady, um, thumbnail right there, and then head over to settings, and now we'll go ahead and select, um, the, the file format you want right here, we'll just say PNG, make sure it's on save current frame, make sure you're hovering over the frame that you want, go ahead and click on next right here, and then you'll go ahead and a final call will ask you where you want it to save. So we're going to save it to the desktop right here. Click on save and we'll wait for final cut to export it right there. Give it a couple seconds. Uh, you see right here. There we go. Now it's um, completely finished exporting right here. And there you go. There is your thumbnail right here. Obviously, you know, it's like the budget version of uh, the one that I showed. But obviously, you know, the most important, the only difference between this uh, this thumbnail and the one you saw um, in the intro, or the one that's actually on the on this actual video, is just the mask. You just want to make sure you take a lot more time um, when you do the mask. You really want to make sure you refine every little edge, and I highly encourage you to add B spline or change it to B spline because the edges are going to be smooth. I didn't know you could do that. Once I figured it out, my my draw mask look um, a lot nicer. And then obviously, you know, add more draw mask. I could add another draw mask to cut out this little section right here. But this video, I just wanted to go over the fundamental, the basic ideas of how to, you know, create a thumbnail, a couple of different tips and a little tricks that I've learned. I basically you know, went through like hundreds of thumbnails and tried to pick the commonalities or things that were like most common in almost everybody's thumbnails and tried to break it down, you know, and kind of break down how I created or how to create the almost exact same Photoshop thumbnails um, in Final Cut. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also have a playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.